Hi guys, welcome back to uh, the uh, course on uh, Quant's question a day. And uh, in this first season, we are doing uh, number systems and uh, questions around number systems. And the, the question for today is not a very difficult question, but this question I've chosen. It's a cat question, an old cat question. I've chosen this question because of the fact that this question is uh, symptomatic of a lot of questions where you have to find uh, factor pairs of numbers. So this is a factor pair based question. And uh, fact, finding factor pairs of numbers is a critical skill that you should uh, develop uh, for numbers all the way to 250, 300. To 250, 300, numbers ka factor pairs ana So uh, let's look at this question. The question says, uh, the question says, uh, in Sivakasi, each boy's quota of uh, mastics to fill into boxes is not more than 200 per session. If he reduces the number of sticks per box by 25, he can fill three more boxes with the total number of sticks assigned to him. So this is where the whole trigger of this question is. It's, it's inside this uh, this thing. So there's a quota for every boy. How many sticks he has to put into mo into boxes? And uh, as I always tell you in in Quant's question, you have you are supposed to uh, understand or you are supposed to uh, track what the key variables are. So here uh, uh, the total quota in this question. Uh, the total quota of uh, box match boxes that are assigned to him, let's call it Q, will be equal to number of boxes into number of sticks per boxes. Right. So if he fills five boxes with, with third, five boxes with thirty sticks each, he'll be uh, he'll be having a quota of one fifty, and so on. The question says, if you can fill three more boxes, uh, if he reduces the number of sticks by 25, that means he goes with n minus 25, then his number of boxes goes to b plus 3. And uh, the question is uh, leaving you with, uh, which of the following is the possible number of sticks assigned to each boy? And uh, the question is leaving you with four options. And you need to understand, uh, whenever you see this kind of question or this kind of a trigger inside a question, possible number, you realize of course that there are multiple solutions available. And you should understand that from here also. Q is equal to B into N and Q is equal to B plus C into N minus 25. You've got two equations, two unknown, three unknowns. And that's one of the basic fundamentals of maths uh, all over is that you, you have to have number of equations unknowns equal to be able to solve a maths equation. So, uh, and when there are more unknowns than equations, you get a multiple possibility situation. If a plus b is 10 and that's the only thing given to you, then it can be 1, 9, 2, 8 or it can, it can even be 2.1 and 7.9 if it's not necessarily integers. So, uh, this uh, situation is the favorite of the cat. If you look at the last 25 years, you'll see cat uh, leaves you with more unknowns than equations very often and it's one of the favorites in the DILR section also. So, uh, getting uh, aware of this and getting uh, ready to handle this is going to become a, a major thrust in your in your prep, and not just for CAD, even for other exams of aptitude that you that you would like to take. So, the question is, what is the value of, of Q? And and the, if you look at uh, this from a, from a trainer's perspective, they have given you uh, the limit of 200 because over 200 there will be many values here possible. So, agar uh, what, what would happen here is that only one of these values would have a structure like this. And what is the structure? You've got a pair of factors and another pair of factors where there's an increase of 3 and a decrease of 25. So if I uh, suppose I, I, I try to go with, a, with an option like 200. Let's say I go, go with an option of 200. Right? I go with an option of like 200 here. So 200 type option agar main uthata hu yahan pe isko hata deta hu kam kar deta hu chhota kar deta hu to 200 ka factor pairs agar main dekhu if i look at my factor pairs of 200 what happens is that the factor pairs of 200 are 200 into 1 2 into 100 3 does not divide it 4 into 50 uh, 5 does 5 5 into uh, 40 6 does not divide it 7 does not divide it 8 into 25 and 10 into 20 and I think that's uh, the last pair of factors that 200 has. There's no other pair of factors that 200 has. Uh, 
apart from this 11 12 13 does not divide it and you basically have to look for factors uh, factor pairs with with factors till square root of 200 here so that i have explained in my book if you want to uh, know more about that ki yahan pe jab 200 ke factors khojne hain humko so we should look at at it only till 14 so 11 12 13 14 does not divide it so these are the factor pairs now if i look in, inside this factor pairs on one factor there should be a growth of 20 or subtraction of 25 on the other, there should be a growth of 3. So if I look through on this side, a subtraction of 25 is available to me from 50 to 25. That's a subtraction of 25. But parallelly, on the other side, if I look at the growth, the uh, pair factor has gone from 4 to 8, which means that is increased by plus 4. So if I am filling 25, uh, if I am filling 8, uh, 8 boxes at 25 uh, sticks per box, I would have filled four boxes at 56 per box, and this does not work because uh, it's uh, it goes against what the what the problem has told me. So if I go back to the problem, what the problem is telling me very clearly is that uh, the number of boxes goes up by four by three when the number of sticks per box comes down by 25. So that's how wrong option is eliminated. Uh, if I pick up a 150, you will be able to spot. And, and uh, when you start writing the factor pairs 1 into 150, 2 into 75, uh, 3 into 50, 4 does not divide 150, 5 into 30, and uh, 6 into 25, you spot the requ requisite pair here itself. And you need to understand that in such questions, the question is never, uh, normally never about the first couple of uh, factor pairs. It's, amongst, it's about the middle factor, so one of the middle factor pairs where the numbers start becoming smaller two digit numbers that, that these numbers work. So this works perfectly. If the initial uh, uh, number of sticks per box was 50, he would fill three boxes. If the number of sticks per box is reduced by 25, he is filling three more boxes. So this is the correct answer. And that's what the, the question talks about. So option B is right. So I hope you enjoyed this. And I'll see you uh, very soon uh, on with the next uh, Quant's question of the day and also other uh, uh, programs happening on the channel. Uh, we will, uh, we, I mean, we, we are very ambitious about this channel and we want your support for, uh, for helping us uh, uh, grow our subscriber and grow, grow our network. Please do subscribe and uh, do share the word and do share the videos. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.